Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about how to coach your man. The topic for this video is right timing. This is the most important tip of everything that you heard together with not projecting uh, an emotional charge in your words and in your conversation. So the right timing is what makes your conversation a success or not. What you see happening in couples and relationships very often is bringing up ideas or issues within a context which is not safe for a conversation. Typical contexts where uh, an in-depth processing conversation is not going to be a good idea is when you're driving your car, when you're about to go to work, when you're in public situations with other people, when you are having dinner with your friends, when uh, he or you come back from work and you are emotionally charged, uh, when you are having sex, the first thing when you wake up in the morning, you know, all these examples that I mentioned are all wrong timing to have a processing conversation. To have a processing conversation, to have a space where your partner gives you time and energy to educate him or coach him, you need a very simple thing. You need to plan it. You need to take the time and you need to ask for permission before you share what you have to share. What I'm describing here is creating the ideal safe context for him to be able to relax and receive your message. If you do it right, the chances of you hitting your target and being able to influence your partner's behavior will be way, way higher. So it's a very simple thing. Here is how you bring it up. Hi, honey. I've got a, an issue or a challenge that I'm facing and I'm was, I was wondering when would be a good time for us to sit down together so that we can have a share on this topic. Okay, you just offered an invitation to sit down together and then it's up to him to respond to that invitation in a timely way when it's a good match for him. Okay, so he might say, well, you know what, I come back from work at six, why don't we go to this cafe and sit down at seven and then we have half an hour there before we go to, to the movies later, for instance. Or he might say, you know what, during this week I'm really, really busy and my mind is already uh, taken by so many things and I would rather us wait until maybe Saturday morning to have this conversation. And guess what? That's perfectly okay. You cannot force your message on your partner. You cannot attach them on a chair and force them to listen to you. Okay? It needs to be a common agreement and a common decision from both, both sides, both parts. So this timing thing is super important. The most important thing to remember is that all these examples that I mentioned of wrong timing, in the car, when you're having sex, when you wake up in the morning, when you're about to go to a party, when you leave for work, you know, all those are not the right time to share uh, important information about your relationship. Okay? Unless it's a positive message. If it's a positive message, that's fine. Anytime. But if it's something that might trigger your partner, that might uh, invite him to go into defense mode, then you must be smart and careful and only start sharing challenging things once you get his permission to share that and it's the right time. I hope you get it. Right timing.